Hi everyone, it's Be Divine and welcome to Divine Miracles channel and the mini tarot forecast this week for the Earth signs and that's Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo and I hope you guys are okay after the uh, solar eclipse and the new moon was a lot of releasing and change big shifts happening within us uh, so hopefully you're feeling you know that you're getting a little bit more balanced now but let's start um, I'm using the um, I'm using the new mythic tarot cards um, and we'll see what comes up starting off with Capricorn so here we go Capricorn that's it and we have the Hierophant okay so for Capricorn this is an important period for you this is an important week and the, and the Hierophant is usually someone who is um, perhaps very spiritual or even religious maybe this is a wedding that you're going to or something official that you will have to be at but also this indicates for uh, Capricorn that you know you're really awakening within yourself you're really beginning to see yourself in a stronger light and perhaps in the past you've been giving a lot of your own energy out to other people all the time and not leaving so much for yourself you know you're always giving and this is saying that you've come around and you're you're starting to see things in a different way and this is really positive for you this means that certain people in your life um, or maybe certain goals that you have have changed and this is perhaps for the better for you right now there's been difficulties with other people or maybe relationships in your life where there's still some sort of heartstrings going on there some sort of um, you know you're feeling sorry for the other person or you've been thinking about the other person if, especially if this has been a breakup but you need to start to get strong within yourself and follow your own independence and fall in love with who you are you know and this means that you will generate people around you that are very loving kind and strong also and will also be able to speak with you you know about your spiritual path too because this comes this is starting to be you know more who you are like you're reaching those levels of spirituality where you're just tired of all the drama okay just know that you have guides with you and angels with you that are there giving you information and messages and knowledge that you can use in the future to bring things into your life so start being really open to those messages and you know say to them thank you for guiding me thank you for keeping me strong and thank you for showing me the way um, and also that you already know things within you and it's time to start using that for your benefit okay so this is a very strong week for you resolving issues within yourself and receiving the knowledge that you need to make those big decisions in your life okay so that's for Capricorn and now the message is for Taurus okay all right Taurus all right here we go Ooh, Taurus the five of wands okay so whenever we see uh, fives it generally indicates a little bit of conflict and in this case this may be conflict within yourself perhaps you're trying to fight off um, a lot of demons from the past or a lot of things that um, you know you know are not right for you anymore perhaps there are other people that you're trying to move away from whatever the situation it feels like you're a little bit all over the place and it's been a little bit difficult for you to navigate your way forward there's also a feeling of listening to too many opposition like people with opposing ideas to you um, perhaps you need to just keep on focusing on what it is that you want to do for your future and not listening to those people that are sort of stirring up different emotions within you okay and sometimes this happens with people who are you know really well-meaning they're, they're doing their best to try to help you or they think that they are and really it's just making you feel that little bit more confused 
I'm also feeling with this card today that there may be a recovery or you may be going through some sort of an illness or you've been feeling under the weather. Things have been clearing out for you. Um, you know, if you've had throat problems, the communications have been down and, you know, you, you're just having to have this reset. And a lot of people have been going through this because of the new moon and also the solar eclipse as well. Uh, a lot of people have been going through health concerns and, you know, in some cases it's trying to let you know that you need to rest. Like when you know your body needs a rest, it's time to listen to that. Um, and this is telling you the same thing. There needs to be a little bit more rest and try not to let your worries or your thoughts over, over consume. And sometimes when we get in that state, we're not really receiving the correct messages. Uh, you know, the correct messages comes from, you know, when you're focused in meditation and, you know, you're letting all the worries of the day slip away. And then you'll start getting or receiving more divine guidance. So try not to fight with yourself too much or cause arguments or have arguments with other people. It's just not going to be worth it to you on an energetic level. And it feels like you're not really going to get the answers that you're looking for either. So it's time to detach. And this is a message that's been coming up for, for a lot of us. Uh, detach yourself from anything that's making you feel lower in energy. And uh, use this time that you have at the moment to recover and help yourself to feel better within yourself. And keep pushing forward towards the things that you want to do without listening to what other people want you to do so much either okay so that's the message for Taurus and for Virgo oh Virgo's got the same card how's that the five of wands okay so the same or similar sorts of situations happening for you um, and I feel also with Virgo that you're trying to um, move forward perhaps with your career or something that you want to do of your own as well and you know maybe this is an idea that you've had for a while and you're trying to get it off of its feet and again there's conflicting sort of opposition there um, people with different viewpoints people trying to tell you how to do things um, people who may have you know your best interests at heart but not always you know supportive of what you want to do and this is letting you know that you are capable of doing those things that something is changing within you that's going to shift you into this next cycle of events and uh, you know try your best to not be so defensive about everything you know understand that people are trying to guide you or give you advice you know take what you want to hear and leave the rest you know People are really trying to um, assist, but maybe it's not always wanted or needed. And, you know, you just got to learn to be mature about it and just take what you can and leave the rest. I'm also going to um, just pull the next card that's on top, okay, um, for Virgo. And I just felt the need to do that. And this is showing that this perhaps is the person um, who is trustworthy, loyal and dependable. This is someone a little bit older than you. This may be um, a father figure or someone who you look up to who's financially stable. And this is not someone that's reckless with money. Um, this is someone who's sort of financially stable and, and knows what they're doing. And they're going to give you that little bit of advice, perhaps with your life, um, or counsel you on your life a little bit, and also perhaps help you uh, with money concerns too. This person does um, have a, a bank of knowledge, you know, this could be someone like an accountant or a bank manager or a loan advisor, something like that. Someone who's just got that deep wisdom, this also can indicate someone who's passed away, um, who is trying to get messages to you as well, okay, and helping you, trying not to, to fight with yourself so much and just accept yourself as a strong person who is capable of many things, um, as long as you set your sights on success, uh, you know, you won't fail, okay? So those are the messages for the earth signs. Take care of yourself since we've had this new moon and the releasing um, time in your life and try not to allow yourself to be consumed with too many thoughts or opinions of other people. 
and also for those who haven't been well I'm wishing you a quick uh, recovery but just remember that whenever we get a cold or a flu or something starts happening it's rewiring us on the inside and that's what we really need um, you know rewiring so we can see feel and hear the divine around us much more clearly okay so those are the messages for the earth signs and until next time thank you so much for watching and goodbye for now